Let's talk about forgiveness. It has been said, God forgets the past. Imitate God. This is one of the highest ways to imitate God and literally, as the Bible says, to put on the Christ. It is to forget the past and to love instead of hold that grudge forever. In Matthew 18, 21 and 22, the Bible says, Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times? And Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to 70 times seven. In other words, infinity. To constantly be willing to, to forgive and to love instead of hold that anger inside of you. How often must we forgive those who wrong us in some way today? More times than we can count, my friend. Our children are precious, but they're imperfect. Every person that we know, well, they're imperfect. We are imperfect. So our spouses, our parents, our friends, inevitably all that come into our lives are imperfect. And many of those people, over time, because humans do what humans do, they will hurt us and offend us as we travel life's road together. When they do, we must find it in our spiritual hearts to forgive them. Otherwise, we do not follow God's way of God's love. Are you easily frustrated by the imperfections of others? Do you allow it to ruin your day, your month, your year, your life? Have you let past offenses imprison you in bitterness and in anger? If so, today is the day to ask God for help. Ask God to heal your hurts and to help you where you can't do it for yourself to forgive those who have inflicted the pain upon you. Bitterness and anger are not part of God's plan for your life. Forgiveness is. Today, if there exists even one person, alive or dead, that you have not forgiven, and my friend, that includes yourself, follow God's commandment and God's will for your life, and forgive.